Super Bowl last weekend had an enormous audience. Not quite moon landing numbers, but man, it was pretty close in the end. The president declined an interview that would have aired during the pregame coverage. Marianne was turning down the opportunity to appear before so many people, even though the height of the audience wasn't in the pregame coverage. But was it good strategy or was it a missed opportunity? 124 million people tuned in to see the game, Taylor Swift, the ads, halftime, and not Joe Biden. Was it a good I, a, it, or a bad it, idea? That's just not what people want to say. It's just not what yeah. people want to say. I mean, President Obama did it every time he was asked, so it is a great opportunity, but I think the Biden people know the more you see Joe Biden, the more you question whether he is up to the job and they weren't going to put him in that situation. All right, let's wrap things up with best week or worst week. Marianne, you go first. Best week, Tom Suozzi and the Democrats winning that special election in Long Island on abortion and immigration, showing Democrats that they can play offense on both. The rematch will be with the new seat. George Santos. Oh, what do you think? Well, first of all, they got outspent two to one, so that's probably why. But boo -hoo, uh, boo -hoo. worst week, <laughs> city council congestion pricing, saying people don't come into Boston is a bad idea. Mm. George Santos said yes. Said last yeah, week right, with the new right. with the new redistricting. Right. If that line stays, he's running again. Please, dear God. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, man. Popcorn, 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 indeed. Yeah. All right, Jenny, Marianne, thank you so much for joining us, folks. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for making us a part of your weekend. And remember, every Sunday we go on the record right here on Channel 5.